Eureka Earth, the purpose of Eureka Earth is to provide a drone type service on a self-serve basis through an app. But instead of driving a drone, you're actually operating a sensor pod or imaging device attached to a manned aircraft. This affords you better access to controlled airspace, which is somewhat limited for uh, drones as we speak today. So it gives you military type capabilities for uh, surveillance or for imaging with a variety of sensors at the cost of commercial drone type operations without owning any equipment. This is about buying uh, into an app, uh, connecting to a, a venue on the website, and operating a uh, system that's already out there uh, in operation on a mission. We flew over the Augusta National. This is this was part of our uh, Can We Do This proof of concept. And we captured pictures of uh, Patrick Reed on the ninth hole as he was winning the tournament, the last day of the tournament, 2018. We said, well, this is, this is doable. So this put our uh, project together for a full-blown proof of concept. And the Augusta National is our most challenging uh, location to film. Um, in the Augusta area. So we used that as a proof of concept uh, to collect data and operate remotely from downtown Augusta on the ground. We had operators operating the sensor on the plane and taking pictures uh, to prove that we could do this over uh, very limited airspace and as the case was this year on the last day of the tournament, very challenging weather. <laughs> so so uh, that we had several successes through the Masters without being too intrusive, and that was key. We wanted people to work over a venue with thousands of people and not be intrusive, not to interfere uh, with the sporting venue, uh, and I think we succeeded in that, so uh, very happy with the results. Well, we're based in Augusta, Georgia, and the purpose of uh, being here is that we have the facilities and the capabilities to do our development here. It also is the perfect size venue, um, about 190,000, 200,000 population, which is about the uh, population uh, area that we believe can support a system. We've identified 400 of these population areas, population uh, regions throughout the United States as service areas, um, and we intend to perfect it here and grow it into those venues and we'll train uh, operators throughout the country. Now since we operate off with Cessna 172s, uh, there have been 43,000 of those made uh, over their course of production and they're available everywhere. So we can provide the system, someone else provides the aircraft and we can train those people to uh, provide services that come through our venue, Eureka Earth. The camera can be operated from onboard, an onboard operator. The camera or sensor system can be operated from a technician in our office back at, uh, on our ground, at our ground station. Or it can be operated through the software by a client themselves. So if, if we're sitting in this boardroom and we're talking about real estate in San Diego and we want to see we're developers, we want to see what's going, what's going on with that real estate right now. Uh, if we're not familiar with the system, we could ask the provider to manipulate the system so that we see live what's going on uh, at the, on that property. If we're comfortable with it, we can take our app and drive a live mission to that site and control it ourselves. Like independent operators that already have their vehicle, very much like an Uber driver. Um, in fact, we intend to put systems on some of these independent drivers on their vehicles so we can provide a live street view also on our Eureka Earth venue 
but we're going to do one thing at a time. <laughs> and our flagship is the aerial imaging. Uh, so that's, that's our focus right now.